The Trinidad and Tobago Manufacturers Association is hoping that government's upcoming media budget review will continue to allow manufacturers to recover. In a statement issued earlier today, President Trisha Kusal says the TTMA wants government to continue to enable the sector to stabilize and expand its operations. And in doing so, Ms. Kusal adds the country can earn much needed foreign exchange. Additionally, the TTMA president is also welcoming the central bank's annual report, which notes an increase in productivity in the non-energy sector for the first three quarters of 2021. Manufacturers themselves are innovative, employing work-from-home solutions, more efficient shift systems, and a greater integration of technology in daily operations. This al allowed for increased productivity despite the fewer man hours worked. However, Ms. Kusal says while there were declines in some sectors, the organization is working to address this. While there was an increase in most sectors, TTME notes the report to decrease particularly in the printing and packaging as well as textile and garment sectors. TTME continues to pursue export markets for all sectors of manufacturing, including these two, as we resume physical trade missions. And Unilever is moving ahead with meeting its target of net zero carbon by 2030. This as a company has introduced its breeze dilutable liquid laundry detergent. And it is also easy on the pockets of consumers. You simply add water to a small amount of the detergent to wash multiple loads, the company's CEO, Jean-Marc Moutet, explained at a recent launch. He adds that the product is also friendly to the environment. In other business news, starting July 1st, 2021, customers traveling out of Kingston, Jamaica, now have more options with the introduction of service to Orlando, Florida from Caribbean Airlines. The non-stop return flights between Norman Manley International and Orlando International Airport will operate twice weekly on Monday and Thursday, Carl says. It adds that these flights are complemented by three weekly services between Kingston and Hollywood International Airport each Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Shakala Salonzo, CNC3 Business Watch.